Hello everyone and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. We're gonna go We're gonna go to Death Mountain Crater real quick. Wait, we did have we do have the broken hilt. Okay, we do. We do, we do, we do. Let's just make our way out of the crater. I'm gonna equip. I'm gonna equip the sword. I believe the next thing to do is go get a prescription. He'll give us a prescription for eye drops. With the prescription, we go to King Zora. King Zora gives us a frog for its eyeballs. We go to the professor inside Lake Hylia. Makes the eye drops. Eye drops expire. So we do need to run back. To Bigorn after. All right, we get the prescription. Fastest route. I don't know why I went this way. I could have taken a shorter way by just going back into the crater. Good going. If you go back into the crater and we could go through that shortcut to to whatchamacallit? Goron City. We could go through we could go through Goron City to go to the Lost Woods. Lost Woods, we could then go to Zora River into Zora's domain. There is a thing I like to do to pause the timer on the time section. At least going back. At least uh, delivering the eye drops. Okay, so, Zora's River. Let's go get the eyeballs, the frog eyeballs. One frog, please. minutes that's quite doable we'll take a little bit of damage there no big you just jump into a frozen lake that might just damage that might damage your legs permanently but it's all right okay we'll make our way back down zora river 
having Epona here is very useful because she could help you tra just travel travel throughout without taking too much time. So once we get to like Lake Hylia, make the eye drops, we're gonna we aren't gonna go straight back to uh we're not gonna go through Kakariko. We're gonna go into the Kukiri Forest and kinda kinda go that same path. We're gonna go through Goron City. And then we could pause our timer that way. We will ignore any big pose on the way. We'll worry about that later. Alright, there's one that we need to get. These fences. Also, you cannot use warp songs. Warp songs will ruin the ingredients. So take that into consideration when if you're planning to do this quest. The doctor is very excited because he's like, oh, the eyeballs are so delicious. So he's a little bit disappointed. All right, four minutes. We definitely have enough time. Epona, where'd you go? I left you, I left you off there. All right. To Kokiri Forest. And I have no idea if this is if my way's a fast route. I just know that by doing this it guarantees that we could get there before the jobs expire. That's just my way of thinking about it. Let's do this. I think I lowered the desktop audio for Hollow Knight and I forgot to raise it back up.
Alright. If we go into Death Mountain Crater, our timer is different. Our timer is, hey, get the hell out of here, you're gonna burn to death. So I believe our timer for the eye drops is about 201. I believe if we come out here, it's back at 201. So that route per er, allows you to have a little bit, uh, it kind of prevents you from, um, whatchamacallit, having the eye drops expire. It gives you a little bit more time. It only works though if you don't have the Goron Tunic on, because the Goron Tunic, you are able to withstand the temperatures. It just the death tem or the death timer overwrites the eye drop timer. Alright. It's a claim check. I do believe it's if we play the Sun Song six times, we should be good. I believe it's three a cycle of three in-game days. So this just helps speed up the process. Just twice more, and we'll be good. We'll be good to go. Alright, present you with the claim check. Yep. And we got the big Goron sword. We could only... You could only wield it with- or you have to use two hands to wield it, otherwise it don't work. I'm gonna play the Nocturne of Shadow, I think that might be slightly faster. Oh, uh, well, we'll show off the reward for the 100 Skochulas, it's- it really isn't useful. Like, the rewards that matter are from, whatchamacallit, 250, 10 to 50. Also, I should figure out if I could make the rumble feature active on top of Retroarch. No idea if you can. I didn't want to use uh, my s the switch only because I didn't want to have that um, the borders around it. Hundred spiders of the curse. Curse has been broken. You get a huge rupee. And I think if you exit and you re-enter. They give you another huge rupee. You basically have unlimited money now, but we don't need money. <laughs> All right, with this, I guess we'll go big po hunting. I don't.
I think we've captured... I know we captured at least two? Oh, what the heck? The one by Kakariko is probably me, probably my least favorite. All right. Let's go kind of slow. And that's why the best the best way to make it spawn is I feel like it's to go around that area. All right, maybe if I'm further back, I have more time. Maybe if I go on that lower area, maybe it's easier, This the lower area. I've always tried doing it from that point because I know it spawns there consistently. I don't know how much better this is, though. going this way? <sighs> oh. Okay, I need to... F I should figure out where the, the first spawn... Or where it spawns. So that I could just get one free shot in and adjust after. Straight into the wall. Also, once you ready your bow on the horseback, you cannot cancel it. Okay. No. No. Okay. Aim low first. You aim low first, you could get a first shot, you just gotta make that section second shot work. It doesn't help that the trees- No, maybe I'm just making excuses. Oh, but- <laughs> Went a whole, I almost went through a whole quiver right now. Okay, I'm gonna aim for this corner, this upper left corner, only because I think that might give us a better angle, more a little bit more time. I've been hugging the right side, but okay, we'll either go till I get it or my quiver runs out.
the thing is, it doesn't just float down, it floats up afterwards, so I gotta adjust both horizontally and vertically. There we go! Oh! We did it! Alright, put you in a bottle. Yes. Okay. All right. So we'll continue with the big po hunt. Then we could move on to end game. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and until then, see you in the next one.